Whenever you think about Livestrong, what's the first thing that pops in your head? Some of you probably think about Lance Armstrong, or others probably just think about those little yellow bracelets. Well, there's more behind the company than just Lance and those bracelets. There's a company that cares about cancer research. From American Cancer Society's website that was recently updated, I found that over a million Americans each year get cancer. And in saying that, what I'd like to do is first tell you about what Livestrong is, followed by a history of Livestrong, and then and concluded by the scandal that some of you have probably heard about. Now let's look at what Livestrong actually is. Livestrong is an organization that supports cancer research. Livestrong supports cancer in multiple ways. From Livestrong's company website, I found that um, I found that Livestrong uh, from Charity Navigator, an article about Livestrong that has recently been updated, said that Livestrong is an international company helping cancer survivors throughout the world. Now, how much of that actually goes to cancer research? Well, in the same article by Charity Navigator, I found that 80.8% of their expenses goes toward their program funding, 6.5% goes to administrative, and then 12.6% goes to fundraising. All right, now that we've looked at that, let's look at the history of the strong. The strong like most, most organizations has some important days in their history. Some important days are as followed. In 1996, Lance Armstrong was diagnosed with cancer. And then in the same year, he beat the odds and beat the disease. And then he decided to learn and research more about cancer. And in 1997, Lance established the Lance Armstrong Foundation. And then in 2002, Lance was appointed to the President's Cancer Panel. Now, I didn't know what that was, so I looked it up. And it said that the National Cancer Institute from the National Cancer Institute website that was recently updated said that the panel monitors and develops the execution of the National Cancer Program. <coughs> now, in 2003, the company spread worldwide and the national and the um, company website launched. Now, let's look at some more history. In 2004, the Live Strong Wristband launched and the Wear Yellow campaign began. And then in the next year, there's over 55 million wristbands sold. And in 2009, the Lance Armstrong Foundation started, or changed its name to Livestrong. All right, now that we've looked at some of the history of Livestrong, let's look at the scandal. The Livestrong scandal will always be linked to them. All right, now the scandal itself does not have much to do with cancer itself, but with doping. From Encyclopedia Britannica, it says in an article that was updated in 2013 that Lance Armstrong was investigated by the U.S. federal grand jury, but was then closed in 2012 with no crippling charges, or criminal charges. In June of the same year, the U.S. Anti-Doping Agency alleged that Armstrong was part of a doping conspiracy, though. But he would not enter arbitration, and because of this, he was stripped of all of his awards from 1998 to now, and he was had a lifetime ban. But um, he still said he was not guilty. But then in 2013, in an interview by Oprah that many of you probably know about, he admitted to taking performance-enhancing drugs. Now, you're probably asking, what did it do to the company, and how did it affect it? Well, Lance decided to step down as the chairman of as the foundation's chairman and as a member of the board of directors. The company decided to change its name because of this also from Lance Armstrong Foundation to Livestrong. And many of the profits have been asked to be taken back by donors. So, in conclusion, this is just a bit amount of detail about Livestrong. Uh, today I've shared with you how, what, how Livestrong started, about their history, followed by Lance's scandal. Thank you for your time. Thank you.